it's Christina Lachaga, the girl with the big pink car, and I am so excited because I just got a box that I cannot wait to show you. I'm going to do a little unboxing, I did a little bit of a haul, and I'm going to tell you what haul I did. So, um, if you've been watching my Snapchat story and my Insta story, I am sure that you know that I have been watching the Winter Olympics PyeongChang 2018, which is taking place, well, which took place over in Pyeongchang, South Korea, and it is now Tuesday, February 27th, and the Winter Olympics are now over, and I'm really sad, and after every Olympics, summer, winter, no matter what year, my mom and I go through a little bit of an Olympics withdrawal, because we watch it every single night, and any other time it's on, because it is now on multiple channels, so, <laughs> so what I did was, because I absolutely love the Olympics, and I did go through the box and I did take one thing out because I wanted to wear it. So this is the Pyeongchang 2018. It's a hoodie. It's really cute. It's a hood. Um, so I'm going to show you the different things that I got. I got it from the NBC Sports store. So let's unbox this box. Here we go. <laughs> oh, and before, wait, wait, wait. Contents may create extreme excitement. They must have known it was going to me. They must have known that this was going to create extreme excitement. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the Pyeongchang 2018 NBC Olympics hat. Super cute. Can you see it? <laughs> Super cute. I like it. Here we go. <laughs> So we got that. Hopefully, is it good? Looks good? My mom says, it, give me a nod, so I guess it looks okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, so next item. I want to actually get this first. Okay, so this is Pyeongchang 2018 Olympics drawstring bag. And literally, this is only $3.25, so I definitely had to get this. I love it. I think it's so cute, and I will definitely use it. Next, here we go. This is this is something I was really excited about. Okay, so my mom questioned whether I should get this, and I can't blame her because, like, I do buy a lot of journals, but I do write a lot. But there's a specific reason I got this one. So I'm actually, since um, I started watching the Olympics, I started learning Korean. Um, and I'll talk about that another time, but I started learning Korean and this is the perfect place I thought to write my different, my notes, um, the different words I'm learning and yeah, so it's the Pyeongchang 2018 NBC Olympics Journal. So I thought that was cool. Oh, I just realized I was going to start this video with some Korean. Ready? Annyeonghaseyo! <laughs> We put it in the middle of the video. That means hi. Annyeonghaseyo. So, now you know hi in Korean. <laughs> okay, this. Here we go. Okay. So this is the Pyeongchang 2018. Um, it's a weekender duffel. And so I travel a lot. Um, and I thought this would be the perfect thing to put my clothes in, put different things in. It's really big. It's really roomy. And I really like it. I love the straps. I love the stripes. I think that's really cool. There's another handle that you can carry it with. And this is perfect. So weekender duffel. I really like it. <laughs> ah, I'm getting tangled. And it fell. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. So last thing in this box. What we're trying to fix the hair. Not working. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, my hair, my ears. Yeah. <laughs> we try so hard. <laughs> okay, next item. Okay, next item. <laughs> so, this is... Okay, well, before I go into what this is... Stop laughing. <laughs> was it like that when I was filming? Was it just like ears? Just for a little while. Just for a little while? It's okay. Whatever. There. Is that better? Yes. <laughs> okay. And we're back. Okay. So one thing you might not know about me, unless you've known me my entire life, um, and gone on vacation with me, and gone to concerts with me, <laughs> I collect 
lapel pins, which are the little um, metal, usually metal pins. Um, and so I have a quite a quite a collection from different places I've been over the years. Um, so one I got is the NBC Olympics 28 Pyeongchang 2018 pin. I do what all the YouTubers do and go like that, so you can see it. Okay, so that is Pyeongchang, but, but, wait up. I also got the NBC Olympics Tokyo 2020 pin. What? So I have that. Is it focusing? Yay! So, I guess that means that, Mom, we have to go to Tokyo 2020. We've got to go to the Summer Olympics. We're two and a half years early. We've got the pin. It's a sign. We gotta go. <laughs> now I gotta learn Japanese, Mom. Okay. How do you got the? That's all I know. <laughs> okay. So I'll see you in a minute. One second. Okay. But wait. Again. We got another box. Um. Funny story about this box. It's kind of the what could have been box. <laughs> okay. So funny story. This is what happened. So during the middle of the. Well, actually. Before the Olympics started, um, I knew I wanted to make a video somehow related to the Olympics because I absolutely love watching it. Um, so I went on to the Pyeongchang 2018 website. I wanted to see what kind of merch they had for the 2018 Olympics because, you know, every year each city has different merch. When I got on the website, it was only in Korean, so I couldn't... And it wasn't like you could um, highlight the words to copy and paste. It was mostly like images, so it was hard to without a Korean like keyboard to... Um, translate it into English. So I said, okay, well, I guess I can't order anything. So then, during the middle of the Olympics, about a week in, I was, I said to myself, you know, I'm gonna go on the website, see what's going on. Went on the website, and I noticed I could translate the pages into English. That's good. My mom and I were looking at the website, I was putting some things into the cart, things that I wanted, things that I thought, um, would be really cool to try. You'll see why. And... We get through the thing. There's one thing in the box that was food related. And we wanted to see what some of the ingredients were. So we scrolled down on the page. And I had all the stuff in the cart. You'll see all the stuff. I had all the stuff in the cart. They only shipped domestically in Korea, South Korea. So even though we got the website in English, I still couldn't get anything. <laughs> And then I was like, who do I know in South Korea who could get me this stuff? So I just said, forget it. So, this is the what could have been. I'm really happy with what I have. But this, these were some things that I thought were really cool that they had on the website. Um, okay, so here we go. So this was the, it was a snowboarder shirt. I thought it was cool. We watched all the snowboarding. Uh, Chloe Kim, yes. Sean White, yes. Um, Red Gerard. Yes. Um, so this was really cute. I thought that was so adorable, and I totally would have worn that. So that was one thing I would have gotten. Um, okay, so this is one of the food items. This is honey butter almond, but they're so cute. And, the, and the, um, one of the mascots, it's Suhurong, Suhurong. And he is hanging out on the honey butter almond. And actually, I can kind of read that. Hunni butte almond. So, I kind of read that. Okay, so this was, these were some journals. I thought these were cute. As you know, I like to write. There's three of them. One second. So, this was a yellow one with Soharong. This was a pink one. And this was a white one. And they came in a little pack. They were, they were tiny, but they weren't, like, super small. So, they were really cute. Sorry for the paper rustling. You wouldn't be getting that if we had the real items here. <laughs> okay, so this was... Um, Choco berry. So these, when we actually read it, these were, um, they're strawberries that are covered in white and I think milk chocolate. So they would have been cool. I just wanted to try some Korean, Korean stuff. The things that they were probably eating when they were at the Olympics, the different visitors and everyone. Okay, so this is, uh, Suhurong and he has snow all around him. I think it's a boy, I'm not sure. Suhurong has snow all around. So that was cute. Pink shirt. Okay, this was... There are a couple of these. Mm -hmm. right here. So this one was a milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh no, wait, this was the milk chocolate. Just kidding. Milk chocolate. Dark chocolate. And then there's one more. This one 
I don't know if it was strawberry or if it was vanilla and just dyed pink, but it had cranberries and popcorn on it. And obviously since I am obsessed with the color pink, that was definitely something that I wanted to try. Definitely something I wanted to try. So these were the Pyeongchang official pins that they had at the Olympics themselves. And this was a sweater. I thought that was adorable. I thought that was really cool. And then it looks like I have a lot in this box, but everything was really reasonably priced. Um, it wasn't crazy pricing. So everything, like all this stuff was really, from what I thought, I thought it was all reasonably priced. Um, this was a Suhurong, I think. I think he's just skiing. Maybe he's flying, but it's another pin. And then this, two more, two more snacks. So this was an original tofu snack. And I just thought that'd be really cool to try. And then this was going to be for my dad, the wasabi almonds. So Pyeongchang Olympics, if you have any left over, feel free to send. <laughs> but seriously, if you, if you want to, I'll pay the shipping. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for watching my unboxing slash haul video. I hope you loved it. Make sure you comment down below what you'd want to buy if you went to the Pyeongchang Olympics or if you were shopping on the website because there are so many cute items. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, thanks Heartbreakers. See ya.